it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate And we have unwavering faith. Hello, friends. This is Yundel, and today's share is about having unwavering faith. I am sharing this with you from my own life experiences, and of course, from my own reading in the scripture. Why I am sharing this with you? Because this is the way. I survive life. Life has never been easy for me. But through the reading, it helps me to be more stronger, to keep on going even I am struggling. Yes, we must all have that unwavering faith to God. I am sharing with you my own spiritual practice. This is not about religion. This is about my faith in Him. Because I survive life because I believe in Him. Because I trust Him that He is working in my life. To have unwavering faith, we must fully trust Him that He is the only one who can do great things into our life. To have that unwavering faith, we must try to believe that we are safe and secure in the palm of His hand. Yes, I know this is not easy because it is about believing to the unseen. We must believe that God still exists, that miracles still exist, that everything will be done according to His will. We must believe that if you cannot believe that, it is very difficult to live in a life empty. I feel my life empty if I don't have Him into my life. If I don't have the faith, if I don't have that belief in Him, that He is the one who created me. He is the one who is taking care of me. He is the one who bless me. And we must have that unwavering faith in order for us to keep on going. In order for us to have a good life. Living a good life, we cannot buy that. But if you have faith and believe in God, believe me, your life must be easy to live. Living our best life is always, for me, trusting it all to God. Knowing that He is in control of my life. Simple as that. This is my own belief and I am just sharing this with you. If you really want to live your best life, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to change your mindset. You must keep believing. You must have that faith. You must trust the creator of the universe. And it's not easy to trust because he is unseen. It is about trusting the unseen and it is, of course, difficult. But just imagine your life becomes easier if He is there for you, to guide you, to lead you every day. Just simple thing to trust Him. When you trust Him, 
all will be well with you when you trust him he is the one in control of your life it becomes easier for you to have the hope to have the inspiration to be motivated in all you want to do with your life it's not always easy for me to be motivated to do something when I don't have the strength, when my mind is empty, when it seems so difficult that I don't have any idea what I'm going to do, when I don't have any inspiration, when I don't have a thought and my mind is totally empty, really, it's very, very difficult. But I have him. I trust him. Therefore, what I have experienced from him, I am sharing this with you in hope it can help you to, I believe, I live my best life feeling content and satisfied of my day-to-day life because He is with me, He is guiding me, He is leading me every day. To have that unwavering faith in our life, we must understand the four laws of faith. Obey God moment by moment. It is written in John 14, 21. Witness for Christ by your life and words. It is written in Matthew 4, 19. Trust God for every detail of your life. It is written in 1 Peter 5, 7. Holy Spirit, allow Him to control and empower your daily life unwitness it is written in galatians 5 16 to have that unwavering faith we must identify the feelers of faith namely creed prayer mass and sacraments and christian living and morality acknowledge god's presence and choose to focus your mind on the scripture practice memorizing a passage of studying in a deep using commentary use the time to copy a favorite passage into your notebook therefore journaling is very important Think deeply about a small passage and how it applies to what you are dealing with in life. You have to understand the key to unlock the power of the gospel and experience freedom are repentance and faith, forgiveness, renunciation, authority, and the Father's blessing. To live a life with unwavering faith. We must understand that uncompromised faith requires faith, commitment to follow God and His will for your life. No matter what it costs, we'll take courage, trust, and obedience. But it offers you the reward for a life of purpose and fulfillment. We must understand unwavering faith means undetermined, to fluctuate, and to doubt. To have unwavering faith is to have a quiet confidence that responds to challenges with immediate obedience. It requires a constant, deliberate effort to deepen one's relationship with God, trust in His plan, and live a life that is aligned with His will. It's a journey of faith that requires perseverance, patience, humility, but the reward is unshakable confidence in God's love, grace, and faithfulness yes all of us must have this unwavering faith it is not easy the words i've been reading it's not really easy but if you 
just stop for a moment and think what your life will be like if you have God within your heart. Practice perseverance, patience, humility is very important here if we really want to live our best life. If we really want to have that unwavering faith. Believe me, you are not alone in every problems, trials, and difficulties you are going to face in this life journey. Becomes a year when you can practice is having that unwavering faith, experiencing the grace of God, the love of God, the blessing of God upon your life. I am not alone. Even I live alone, I feel I am not alone because I know He is with me. I know He is taking care of me. I know He is the only one who can stand by me through thick and thin. Again, I am just sharing with you my spiritual practice, how I survive life. Life has never been easy for me. But I survived because of my unwavering faith in Him. He is with me, standing by me through thick and thin, and He will not ever leave me. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and bye-bye. Like we feel the same, we love what we have.